Hello, welcome back. If you have accidentally managed to break the connectors for your ABS sensor or brake pad wear sensor, I will now show you how you can uh, repair that properly. Uh, there are probably some way you can hack it together or what I should call it or do a quick fix or something like that, but I'm not a fan of it. I like to do things properly. So uh, now I will show you how you can do that. So, should we get on with it? As you can see, I have now lifted the car and put it safely on jack stands. Now we need to remove the inner arch liner. I have already removed a trim piece here because I have done some preparations because the car is going away for rust repairs later. I'm not doing that. So now, as you can see, here are the wires in question for the sensors. As you can see here, there is a little uh, holder type of clip uh, that we just open to get the wires loose and we are moving around a bit here yes and you can see a series of clips with uh, with some sort of plastic uh, Phillips set screw type clips uh, that you just undo to get the arch liner out now don't worry, that rusty brake pipe will be replaced. And quite commonly one of the clips is broken, but that's no problem. I have several of these in stock, so I will just replace it with a new one. Now I just use this trim clip removal tool to force it out, quite simply. All the clips are now out. Now we have to remove a bolt that goes through the arch liner and bumper and the fender. And you need a 10 millimeter socket to remove that. And that's that one out. Now there are supposed to be a clip on the underside here of the uh, arch liner, but someone has replaced that clip with an actual self-drilling screw directly into the subframe. So yeah, we'll have to remove that too. And now we can start pulling the arch liner out. Uh, carefully but I will not take it completely out until I have disconnected the remains of the connectors that we are going to change and here you can see the connectors the blue one is for the ABS sensor and the black one for the pad wear sensor As 
as you can see i have now pulled the connectors apart and that wasn't exactly a problem because all of the locking taps that keep them together are totally broken but as you can see uh, the blue one that's for the abs is still relatively uh, intact but it will be replaced as well but as you can see here the black one that is for the pad wear sensor is totally disintegrated so i have to uh, just pull out the remains uh, with a little screwdriver so yeah absolutely totally broken That's all of the remains out and luckily the female connectors have survived this ordeal so we only have to replace the male connectors. And now I will remove the arch liner entirely. Here you can see I have bought two repair kits for these connectors. And these are for BMW because uh, the Rogue 75 and MG Seti uses BMW connectors. And uh, I bought new ones simply because uh, I could find some used ones on the internet. But with postage and all of that, it would be actually more be more expensive to buy used ones than new ones. So that's a no brainer for me. Now I bought these connector or repair kits from an independent BMW specialist. So as you can see here, if you read, you can see the part numbers. Uh, I will put that in the description down below also so that you can uh, find and source them or even buy them through a BMW dealer. Now, as you can see, I have made two tags here because these connectors have the same color and they are supposed to be blue and black, but uh, they couldn't source one specifically for the pad indicator uh, sensor. So uh, I will mark uh, both of them with the correct uh, tag so that I won't mess up or anyone else that disconnects these uh, on a late point. Uh, can get them rightly or correctly back together again. As you can see, I am now removing a little locking clip uh, so that I can pull uh, the wires out of the old connectors. It might You might need to give them a little push uh, to, to get them out, but it's really simple. And that's the old connector off. So let's get a new one. And here we have a new connector. As you can see, we have new wires in them. I will remove them and keep them for a later occasion when they are actually needed. And that's the wires out. And now we can install a new connector. Now the connecting pins on the wires have a little tap on it. They may look entirely square or totally square, but they are actually not. And that little tab will only fit down in one specific position in the connector. So you cannot do this wrong. If you don't have it aligned correctly, you won't be able to get the wire down in the connector. So that's a little safety feature there. And there the wires are pushed all the way down so we can carefully push down the securing or locking clip so that the wires are securely held in place in the connector. And that's the ABS connector done. So only thing I will do now is put a tag that I have made that has ABS written on it so that I know later 
where it is going. Just like that, it's so easy. And now the connector for the brake pad wear indicator. And that's both the wires seated all the way down. So now we can carefully push down the locking clip here as well. And then it's done. So now I will just put a tag on this wire as well. Just like that. And now we can start the reassembly process. And we start with getting the arch liner back in place. Now remember to pull the female connectors through the arch liner and reconnect them again before you push the arch liner all the way up in place. Before I reconnect the sensors, I will apply some silicon grease on the rubber seals on the connectors. In that way, they won't get stuck later, so they will be easier to disconnect and put back together again at a later point. And now we can reconnect the sensors again. And remember, blue is ABS and the black one is for the brake wear indicator. And there, they are both connected. Remember to push the connectors down in the bracket again. Now you can push the arch lander back in place. And now, with the arch liner gently pushed back in place, we can start to get the clips back in again. I also apply some grease on the threads uh, for the clips so that they are much easier to get out again later. Yeah, 
And that's all of the clips back in place. And now we install the bolt that goes through the arch slender and bumper and front fender. And now at the end, remember to put the wires for the sensors back in the little fastening clips here. And when you have done that, you are done. Now again, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.